What's up everybody today we do I really want to start off like that? Okay, so you got a brand new camera. It's kind of pricey. You just took a whole bunch of really cool pictures. They're raw pictures because raw is the way to go. You get home, you import all of your pictures, you open up Photoshop or Illustrator, probably not Illustrator, Lightroom, whatever and can't do anything with them because photoshop doesn't support is it the arw I think it's a what are you doing oh my god get up there okay. my girlfriend was sitting in the back but now she's laying down show the people yourself show them show the people Okay, I'm not really good at the specifics. I should probably do a lot more research on topics if I am aiming to instruct and teach and stuff, but you know, I'm not Gerald and Dunn or all these other YouTubers that are like really extensive. I just get the job done. So I think it's an ARW file that the Sony a6400 produces as its raw format. So whatever, you get home and you can't do anything with that. And this video is teaching you how to fix that. It is super simple and this is gonna be a very, very quick video because I'm tired and I wanna go to sleep. <laughs> Even if that wasn't the case, this is gonna be a very quick video. At the moment, Photoshop and a lot of the Adobe suite does not offer support for the A6400. So you have to go through another application. This is very simple. What we're gonna be using is the Adobe DNG Converter. So we just gotta search that up in Google. The very first link, we're gonna go ahead and click on that. Uh, scroll down just a little bit after all of the gritty stuff and you can choose between Windows and Mac. I'm on Mac, so we'll go ahead and choose Mac. And that's gonna bring you to yet another page. Go ahead and do proceed to download. And then you can download it, blah, blah, blah. Your software is downloaded. Unfortunately, if you wanna shoot raw with your camera, at least for the moment, you have to go through this converter. So after you got everything all downloaded, you open up the converter, you choose. Okay, so let's, let's backtrack a little bit. So when you actually import your photos, you're gonna wanna import all of your raw photos into a folder. Okay, so now let's go, yeah. So go into the converter and you're gonna choose that folder which has all of your raw photos. You're gonna choose an output folder. You might, might have to create one next to it or you can just put the converted photos into the same folder. It's really personal preference so you do that hit convert wait a little bit it's doing its thing and you're all done now you have usable files to use in photoshop so i'm pretty sure they convert into a dng that would make a lot of sense this is a dng converter anyway so i'm sure it's an arw to dng if it's not it doesn't matter because you have this the basic principle you just go through the little software you know you got the, what you want to convert where you want the converted to go you're all done enjoy this has been my quick little tip for a saturday afternoon thank you so much for watching thank you for subscribing if you haven't go ahead and do that because why not keep commenting i love interacting with all of the comments and come back in a couple days for the next video. It'll probably be a little bit of a more polished, better video than this, but whatever. This is my time for an awkward outro, which usually devolved to just me staring somewhere. Yeah, whatever. See you guys. Yeah. Thank you.